<laughs> Do you have to bend over? No, it's just being cool. Like this. Take two. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Kiana. And I'm Dustin. And today we're going to be making the viral TikTok pasta. I wish I had a video to show you guys. Let me you see if I can find is. one. So if you haven't seen this um, this recipe and if you're not on TikTok, it's like a tomato feta pasta, tomato feta basil pasta. And I've heard a lot of good things. It's supposed to also be super easy to make. So that's what we're going to try today. Right, there we go. Feta pasta. It's super easy. All you do is add cherry tomatoes, extra virgin olive oil, salt, freshly cracked pepper to a baking dish and toss to combine. Then add a block of feta cheese to the center, drizzle with more olive oil, and crack some more fresh pepper over top. Then pop in a 400 degree oven for 35 minutes, and all you have to do is stir it all up. All those juices from the tomatoes come out, the feta becomes nice and creamy. Add some fresh garlic, some fresh basil. Your pasta of choice, I chose orecchietti, and give it one last stir to combine. This was so easy, so delicious, perfect for weeknight dinners. Uh, so we are gonna attempt that today. Today. So we have all the ingredients. We got our basil. Gotta block Dustin's face. You can stay here. We got two pints of, or as my students say, pints. Uh -huh. Two pints of tomatoes. You can say that too. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> One of my students was like, "When did we learn about pints?" And I was like, "Oh yes. We have garlic." Fresh garlic. I don't ever do anything with cloves of garlic, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> and then we have this kava kava toffee. I don't know, but I do like that this these noodles like spiral. Yeah. Oh, one big thing. We have this big block of feta cheese. Which we almost walked out without. Yes, <laughs> um, but thank goodness for Dustin. So we do have the recipe. We're gonna do this on. I don't know, <laughs> uh, we took the Food Network version of this recipe um, and we're just gonna make it. We didn't do rigatoni because I think these noodles are cuter and I know it's <laughs> going into my belly so it shouldn't matter but still. So it says don't overdo the pasta. Short pasta is preferred. Don't really know why. Oh instead of spaghetti or linguine which make is sure it's cute. Save your pasta water. Whatever we're gonna just hop in. So it says it makes four to six servings. It takes actively 20 minutes, but 45 minutes total, and it's rated level easy, which is what we need because we don't cook, or I don't cook. He, she doesn't cook. Yeah, it needs to be preheated to 400. First, it says to toss the cherry tomatoes in the olive oil with one fourth teaspoon of salt and several brines of black pepper in a medium bowl until combined. I think we could just do it in the pan and get it all shriveled up. So I guess first thing we need to do is wash these tomatoes. So I didn't measure any of this at all. I just kind of, like, I know I read the directions, but I never went back to unlock my phone. She thinks she's a real chef. I I said I don't need to measure because real chefs don't measure. Oh, and no. then Dustin said, you're not a real chef. <laughs> Thanks. What? We put it into a baking dish, place the feta in the center of the tomatoes, then season with a pinch of black pepper. In all the TikToks, it says to douse the, the feta with Oil. So we're gonna do that now. Have you ever like worked with chunk chunk feta? Me? Yeah. No. Oh, okay, me either. So I think it's liquidy. I'm sure you don't rinse it. One thing that I saw on TikTok. Um, there's so many of these TikTok videos. Some people added shallots, but Dustin's not really an onion person. Um, but I saw some people like add the garlic after, but I saw one lady put the garlic like cloves in. She just threw it in the pan with everything else. So 
I think that's what I'm gonna do because I don't like to freshly chop anything. Um, so if I can just like cook it with the tomatoes and then babe, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I don't do anything with garlic. She said she was a master chef. So I saw her put four cloves of garlic in there and I don't know if that's gonna make me and Dustin smell bad later today, <laughs> but we're going for it. Dustin is the pro. He figured out the garlic and bending it, and that helps you snap off the stuff. So, Dustin is the garlic professional. <laughs> All right, so now it says we put it in here in the oven for at 400 for about 30 minutes until the feta gets super soft and the tomatoes burst. Then we increase it 50 degrees and cook for 10 to 15 more minutes. So, I guess when we put it back in, that's when we can make our pasta. Yeah. So, the video told you to take off all the leaves. Yeah, whenever I'm not doing makeup, I like to <laughs> finely chop basil. Oh, okay. It's very fragrant. It is. So I know that from my time as a professional chef, that in order to do this, I remove the leaves, and I like to stack them on top of each other, like so. Like so, like that? Mm -hmm. Like top of the brown? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Not your business. <laughs> so once I've done that, I like to go ahead and roll them up and then I like to just go ahead and you know this is my oh. I'm a special chef how I always get you with my good acting yeah you're so good <laughs> which looks like a bigger snack the meal or me about four more minutes for the first part of the tomatoes before we increase the temperature so during that time we started to boil the water that's going to take some time so then hopefully by the time we take this out and, and increase the temperature or whatever the noodles will be ready to throw into the pot boys getting hungry <laughs> Dustin has it all mashed and mixed up. <laughs> I just drained the noodles, so what we're gonna do now is add noodles and add the basil, stir it up, and I think we might be good. I think so. So we took a little bit of the pasta water and we made sure to save it aside because they said that you might wanna add a little bit more if it's too thick, um, and so this will help to evenly coat it. It looks delicious. Mmm. Oh Is it good? Yeah, did you try it? I had that piece, but it didn't. I'm actually impressed. It's good? It is good. It's good, y'all. <laughs> We're about to eat. It's good, y'all. <laughs> okay. Dustin made some um, garlic bread from to go scratch. from not from scratch. You he made some uh, that one of those blue bowl things. He makes some garlic bread to go ahead with it. So we are about to grub. Mm -hmm. Shout out to TikTok. What's your verdict? I know you, you're digging in, it's, babe. It's good. It is good. I already taste the garlic off of just that one noodle that I ate. It's really good though. It is, guys. Wow. A lot of flavor. TikTok, you win. TikTok is good. Wow. I mean, it took a while. It took probably like 45, 50 minutes. But it took longer than I thought I was going to, but yeah, it's very easy. It is easy. And the flavors are busting. Yeah, that's better than most stuff we've got in restaurants lately. 
for real. <laughs> so that's our video. That's a win. Um, so I would definitely suggest that you guys try this. We can link the res the recipe that we use, or you guys can check it out. Pa I just like search pasta. Yeah, Take viral TikTok pasta. Yeah, delicious, absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. We're about to chow down and not stand up and eat, and we will see you guys next time. As always, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know if you've tried this and if you liked it yourself. And if you have other, any other easy recipes, because we're down. Shut up. Mm -hmm. mm. The basil is <laughs> so good. It is good. It is good, y'all. Try it. Yeah, we're sorry. We'll talk to y'all later. Right, Bye. We'll see ya.